Welcome to Red Recaps. Hey guys, today we'll be doing a review of a movie, Army of the Dead. This video promises to be entertaining. Sit back, relax, and grab something chilled as we take a roller coaster ride. Now let's get into the movie. The movie depicts a gang of soldiers who plot a Las Vegas casino robbery amid a zombie apocalypse. A US military convoy delivering a package from Area 51 collides with a vehicle on the highway, releasing a zombie. It kills a lot of troops while infecting two others. The zombies travel to Las Vegas, infecting most of the city's inhabitants. After a failed military intervention, the government quarantines the city. Casino owner Blight Naka and his associate Martin approach former mercenary Scott Ward about a job to recover $200 million from his casino vault before the military destroys the city with a tactical nuclear strike. Ward agrees and recruits his former teammates, Maria Cruz and Vandroy, along with helicopter pilot Marianne Peters, German safecracker Ludwig Dieter, and Chicano sharpshooter Mikey Guzman, who brings along his associate Chambers Martin, who joins the team to give them access to the casino ward's estranged daughter. Kate, who works at a quarantine camp, directs them to Lily the Coyote, a smuggler familiar with the city. Lily hires Bert Cummings, a camp security guard. When Kate discovers Lily brought her buddy, Gita, into Vegas, Kate pushes on, joining the squad against Ward's reservations. After a frightening encounter with a zombie tiger called Valentine, while entering Vegas, Cummings is injured by Lily, who then tells them that a more sophisticated set of zombies known as Alphas are prepared to let them cross through their territory in return for a sacrifice. Cummings is infected by Zeus, the alpha male leader, when an alpha female known as the Queen abducts him and transports him to the Olympus Casino. Lily takes the group to a facility that is full of typical zombies who are hibernating. Through the use of light sticks, Ward clears a path through the zombie horde. When Chambers accuses Martin of having hidden agendas, Martin takes her off the trail. And as she is being overrun by the zombies, Guzman fires, and her gas tank explodes. Chambers wakes up the undead, putting an end to her as well as the zombies. The electricity is turned on at Bly's Casino by Ward and Kate. While Peters makes preparations for a helicopter on the roof while Dieter works on the vault, Martin and Lily pretend to be keeping watch from the outside while staying outside. However, Martin, instead of luring the queen into the open, beheaded her, took her head, and urged Lily to keep quiet about it. The safecracker was successful in opening the safe, and they immediately began packing the money. Zeus finds her corpse and brings her back to the casino on Mount Olympus, where he reveals that the queen was carrying a zombie fetus the whole time she was pregnant. Bly's Casino is the destination that Zeus recommends for the Alphas. According to a story in the media, the administration hurriedly planned the nuclear attack, leaving the team just about an hour to prepare. During the time when Dieter is opening the safe, Ward learns that Kate has already departed to hunt for Guitar, just as he and Cruz are about to start looking for Kate. When the elevator doors opened, one of Alpha's men had already shot and murdered Cruz. Martin corners the crew in the basement and explains that Bly is solely concerned with the zombie's head because it has the potential to generate a zombie army for the government and is thus more valuable than the money that is stored in the vault. When he goes outside, he learns that Lily has stolen the head of the queen, and Valentine kills him by mauling him to death. Vandroy makes an effort to battle Zeus, but he is easily defeated by him. Dieter is willing to make the ultimate sacrifice in order to get Vandroy inside the vault securely. Guzman, Ward, and Lily make it to the lobby where they are attacked by zombies, and Guzman is surrounded by them. Guzman blows up his explosives, which results in the destruction of the zombies and the money he was carrying. They are confronted by Zeus on the rooftop. Peter and Ward are able to get away when Lily diverts his attention with the head of the queen. Lily is impaled by Zeus, but before she passes away, she cuts off the head of the queen. Ward asks Peters to drive them to the Olympus Casino, so that Ward may fetch Kate. There, Kate comes upon Gita and ends Cummings' life. They are surrounded by Zeus, 
but Ward uses a grenade launcher to take him down. Gita, Kate, and Ward make it to the top, but it is vacant, leading them to believe that Peter has abandoned them. Zeus had just reached the top of the building when she suddenly arrived. Zeus also hops on board the chopper along with the other three, and he quickly dispatches Ward by biting him. Before Ward can fire and kill Zeus, Kate manages to strike him first. The city is obliterated by the nuclear explosion, and Peters is killed when his chopper crashes as a result of the shockwave. Kate manages to stay alive and eventually locates Ward, who helps her establish a new life by providing financial support until he too becomes a zombie. As a rescue chopper approaches, Kate pulls the trigger and kills him. After removing the remaining funds from the safe, Vindroy leaves the vault and travels to Utah, where he obtains a private jet to fly him to Mexico City. During the trip, he experiences dizziness and later finds out that he has been bitten. This is the last scene of the film. If you enjoyed watching this video, leave a comment down below and let us know what you think about the movie. If you liked this video, you can watch it in the links down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more of our videos. And before we wrap up, a couple of quick facts for all of you to enjoy. Did you know that Army of the Dead was a Zack Snyder project? It was one of Netflix's biggest releases so far, and it's actually a spiritual successor to Dawn of the Dead from 2004. And Snyder created that, too. Army of the Dead features Dave Bautista, Ella Purnell, Omari Hardwick, as well as other well-known actors and actresses such as Tig Notaro. The film has an IMDb rating of 5.7 out of 10, with 170,000 total votes. The movie is streaming on Netflix, it was produced by The Stone Quarry, and it had a budget of 70 to 90 million dollars, which is actually pretty cheap for Netflix. You might not know this, but each episode of Stranger Things 4 cost Netflix roughly 30 million dollars per episode. That's a big spend, definitely not cheap. And did you know that Army of the Dead apparently already has a sequel in the works? Army of the Dead 2 already has a working title, Planet of the Dead. But no release date has been announced thus far, so fans will have to wait a while longer. Have you seen this movie? If you have, let us know what you think, and if you haven't, check it out. Fans of zombie movies definitely don't want to miss this one. And also, as always, thanks for watching Red Recaps. See you in the next video.